Are we at camp? Are we gonna put some food plots in? Huh? Yeah. There she blows. The old Kubota does most of our food plot work for us. Hooking up to the disc and we got a lot of ground to work today. And we're off. Because if you hook that hook on right here right now, these pins are too low. No. So we can maybe well the plate here. Alright you guys, so as you can see we are back here in the woods. We got a little land clearing here. So last time I was up here, I cleared this land here and we're going to try putting about an eighth of an acre uh, kill plot in here. So that's today's process. And uh, as you can see, we're also finishing up a nice shooting stand uh, in the middle of the property here that we can hunt over this food plot a little bit in gun season and more or less just have a nice uh, spot to hunt when the weather is not as nice. All right, you guys, so before Evan gets back here, he's running back with the quad right now. I'm just going to give you a little insight. So we are up at uh, my wife's family's camp that Evan and I have been hunting for about seven, eight years now. I take that back. About six years. I've only, I've only been dating. They're married, dating, known Trisha for seven years. So six. this is probably year six of us hunting the property. But uh, this year... We are putting in a couple new food plots, uh, one being the one I just showed you that's in front of me. And Tom has a couple of various tower stands that he likes to hunt with his uh, crossbow out of and rifle as well that aren't in the best shape. So he's 82 years old. We decided that it's probably not the best for him to be uh, climbing 20 foot up a extension ladder into a pretty uh, rotten excuse of a tree stand so we're, we're taking that one out of commission and we're building him this new one here as you can see back here so that's what we've been working on the main focus for today is it is august 3rd i believe august 3rd as you can tell and it's food plot season, so this year we were busy. Uh, I just got a new house. Evan's been busy with work as well. We didn't get any spring food plots in, so we let the clover and stuff kind of come up from last year's food plots, and we decided that we were just going to plant fall food plots this year. So two weeks ago we came up and we sprayed all of our food plots, and this is the week that we're going to get the ground worked and the seed down. So this food plot here in front of me that you can see is, like I said, about an eighth, maybe a sixth of an acre, and we are going to be planting clover and winter rye back here. So uh, the reason I selected clover and winter rye is because it is very uh, soil pH, uh, low pH tolerant, low nutrient tolerant, can stand a lot of browse pressure, which we have a ton of deer uh, up here at camp, and um, it's pretty much what fits best for us. So it'll grow late into December. It'll be the only thing green, that uh, winter rye. And then clover, I've always just had good luck with it. And that clover will act as a cover crop next uh, spring. It should uh, crop, it should shade out all the um, weeds after we spray and kill the rye. You gotta kill the rye in the spring or it gets real stocky and hard to work back down into the soil. So I'm gonna get the disc here going here shortly, take some pictures before and after, and uh, let's get some ground worked up and get some seed in the ground. All right guys, before we start, we're gonna do a basic little walk of this food plot. So this food plot, the reason we decided to put it here, there's a lot of deer travel that gets pinched down uh, here, a lot of different factors there's a gas line about 100 yards in the woods with some thick cover here and these deer like to travel up and down 
here and then there's just some natural movement right past the edge of this food plot there's some logging roads that always have some good scrape activity with a lot of good bedding behind it we plant a pretty big food plot out at the camp that's more of like a destination food source if you will for up here there's no ag up here so what we're putting in the ground is really the most uh what they get in terms of agricultural uh food for them so this food plot has a lot of debris and stuff that i'm going to do some pushing out but all i did was i came about two weeks ago with some glyphosate and I sprayed back here and I'm just gonna move some of this dead wood out because it's not doing us any good um, it's the first year planning this uh, so fingers crossed that something works out but I'm just adding lime back here fertilization is not gonna happen this year I want to see how it uh, turns out without that and the pH may be low but I would expect the nutrients to be somewhat high because this ground's never been worked before. So here's what she looks before it's a disc. Let's see what we can get it to look like after. Alright you guys, as you can see, the disc took a beating, she's all caked up, it's pretty wet out, but hey, we got our food plot cut in, so yeah, ground worked up better than I thought, wasn't as rocky as I thought it would be, just a couple of spots that we couldn't tear up due to old stumps right there, we'll probably do a mineral lick here, but uh, what we're going to work on next here is before I put this tractor away for a little bit we want to try a watering hole and there seems to be an indent over here so I think we're gonna clear a little area and do a watering hole somewhere right here bury a uh, Rubbermaid tote and see what happens see if the deer like it we've never tried it in the past but here's our kill plot for 2024 and yes sir ground is broken So, there she is. Looks Shout pretty good. To, Time to plant. Shout out to the little MK Property Solutions for all your food plot needs. Call us up. Oh boy, I don't know Real if I plot, want. Baby. I don't know if I want him working for me. Yeah, get out of here. Food plots dissed up. Now we're gonna spread some lime before we get the seed on using a bag spreader instead of the quad because it's pretty wet here. Evan told me to use the quad instead of this, but I didn't want to get it all muddy, but he might be right because these 50 pound bags are heavy. This is gonna suck. Right, here we go. down four more to go we're putting about uh, 250 pounds of lime which equates to about 3,000 pounds of lime per acre is what we're starting the food plot out with so yeah first year giving it a go we're not going to dump everything into it but 
we'll see how she works. If it works good this year, then we'll put some more time, effort, and money into it next year. So let's keep spreading. All right, lime spread, time to go get the seed. We're doing a different variety of clovers, winter rye, and we're gonna actually mix in a little bit of winter oats just cause we got a bunch, but see how it works. Oh, well, last time you saw me, I was dry. Big wave of rain came through, but uh, Hey, I'm not complaining. I'd rather get soaked and get the food plots in with some rain than uh, be dry and no rain for a few days. So everything's going to germinate quick. We got 50 pounds of rye down on this food plot. Now we're going to go with 10, pound, 10 pounds of uh, winter oats. And then we're going to come through and we're going to hand seed three pounds of clover through. And then that'll be our planning for the day. It's August 3rd in this food plot. So we've got our oats, our winter rye, and our clover down today and about Labor Day, so a month from now, I'm gonna come back in here uh, and based on what it looks like, I'm gonna top dress it with as much as another 50 pounds of winter rye and that'll grow up in stages so you'll have some more mature winter rye entering bow season along with some younger stuff and that winter rye should grow all through the fall. It grows in very low temperatures. So we're gonna get this winter oats spread and then uh, feather in that uh, quad clover it's a quad blend four different types of clover red clover white clover and a couple other ones but I had to put the oats in a bucket keep them dry surprisingly the inside of the spreader is pretty dry it's what we're working with And all these seeds that you see us planting are just from a regular feed store. Uh, there's no special food plot brand that we use. We just use regular mill seed and don't pay three times the cost. So yeah, we found it to be just as effective as long as you fertilize in lime, uh, take care of your soil, plant the right time, control your weeds. You don't need the stuff that's crazy expensive, but and it's easy to get a hold of. So we'll get this spread now. I am a muddy mess. Got her all planted, and now it's raining. Can't ask for much better, other than being dry. It's raining again, but Tom's working this food plot. Uh-oh, now he's kicking it into high gear. Run, Tom, run! All right, you guys, this is another food plot we plant. I don't know if you've watched some videos in the past you may recognize. Noah and I hunted out of a stand right up here and uh, had a good flintlock hunt. We'll uh, link the video uh, maybe up in this right hand corner of the flintlock hunt from last year. But uh, Evan's getting the ground turned. This is the same blend. We're going to do uh, clover, winter oats, and winter rye. So he's getting it turned over. We sprayed this two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, so we'll get this dissed up and get her planted. So Evan says this thatch is a little thick. So 
If you can see, we let it go all summer. This was planted in clover last year. There's still some old clover that survived the glyphosate spray, but it's not turning up the best. So Evan's gonna keep disking, and I'm gonna go hook a tractor up with a drag behind, or a quad up with a drag behind it, and we're gonna drag this baby. And it usually pulverizes it pretty well. So, yep. And Tom's, Tom's seeding that. Look at that old man go. He ain't got no idea I'm filming him. Alright you guys, it's the next day, August 4th. Uh, we're about to head out, leave camp, but we wanted to show you these two food plots we got planted. So this is uh, right in front of our camp here. We don't hunt over it too much. Maybe in archery season when there's not many people up here, we'll try and film a doe hunt. Uh, if we get up here late in the evening and can't get too far back into the woods, but... We sprayed this three weeks ago uh, with Roundup and then dissed over it lightly. Just one or two passes just to expose the dirt. And as you can see, uh, you can see some of those seeds. The uh, winter rye, clover, and winter oats in here. And then over here, you can see this was sprayed not too long ago. But this was not sprayed with glyphosate. This was sprayed with a selective herbicide that would leave the clover. There's still a decent amount of clover in it, as you can tell. But uh, we're going to just hit this with a drag so we don't tear the clover up too much and then overseed with both clover and uh, winter rye and oats. So this is the camp plot. All right, you guys, we're up here in our biggest food plot up at camp. As you can see, the camp down there. This is what we call the rock plot. It's pretty rocky, but uh, we usually get a pretty good crop. Uh, this year, we only planted this in the summer, and all we did was we drug it with this drag here. We tried running a disc and it just wasn't cutting through, but you can see we broke that soil up pretty well with this drag, which I'll show you. But you can see plenty of seed coverage there. Uh, we did winter oats. Uh, winter rye and clover here as well, but this is the drag and this thing does a great job at tearing everything up It's got these metal uh, Bars here for weight in the back and these spikes. It's really like a big chain link fence It's pretty heavy and it tears the soil and sod up pretty well saves us from disking a lot of stuff We can just hit this every year and it rips it up as you can see pretty good soil contact for those seeds, but Yeah, so could pull that with a quad that's all you need up here all right you guys that's gonna do it for our uh, April or yeah April our August trip up here to camp got all the food plots in for the season next time we'll be up here is Labor Day weekend should have some good growth in these plots Evan and I got eight trail cameras out today up here at camp two cells and six regulars uh, pretty much widespread trying some new areas up here at camp uh, a lot of these food plots we don't hunt over, like this isn't a food plot we hunt over unless we get up here late in the evening and don't have time to get real far back into the woods. We'll hop up in here and try and shoot a doe. They do get pounded by the deer up here, and uh, but that kill plot that we, you saw me plant uh, for most of the video is something I'm excited about. That's a good area that we have in there, that there just with some wasted space with that grass and stuff. So getting that cleared out and actually getting a food source in there excites me. It's a good travel corridor already and hopefully we can slip in there without bumping too many deer and film something and die this uh, fall. But season's quickly approaching. Food plots are in. The roof's on the uh, shooting house. So my chores up here are done. So I'm excited. In a month we'll frost, not frost seed, but we'll overseed some more winter rye. Just hand broadcasting all these food plots. So you have two different stages of rye growing. Uh, enter in bow season and uh, hopefully we get some rain here in the next couple weeks Should be a good season, but I appreciate you guys watching just wanted to show how we get our food plots in with some light equipment I uh, don't need big plows discs Call to packers all that all that's nice, but it's not realistic for everyone not realistic for us for sure So yeah, we got about I'd say an acre and a half two acres of food plots in this year and uh, all with quad backpack sprayers hand seeders uh, and a quad sprayer so thanks for watching guys